Coven students. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm coming to you live from the WLNK studio. Today is Thursday, June 1st, 2017. The temperature in Elk Grove Village right now is 58 degrees. We are expected to have a high of 77 and a low of 55 with overcast skies. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Link Pride Pledge. I will do my best to be safe, respectful, and responsible to my teachers, myself, and others. I will find the greatness of me by helping others and working together. I will make the most of every moment and follow the link school agreements. Estoy de acuerdo. Our pledge people for today are Cassandra, Julia. And now here is Deb with today's sports. Thank you, Julia. The Cubs, who were swept at the Dodgers last weekend, finished their first winless trip of at least six games since August 2012, when they also lost three at Los Angeles at three at, and three at San Diego. In last night's game, San Diego rookie Franchi Cordero tripled, leading off the eighth inning and scored on Yangervis Solarte's fielder's choice, and the Padres beat Chicago 2-1. The Cubs return home for an off day today before starting an opener of a three-game series against St. Louis tomorrow afternoon. After a slow start, White Sox pitcher Mike <coughs> Pelfrey has been impressive of, of late, including, including yesterday when he tossed five shutout innings in his team's 4-1 to one loss to the Red Sox. Pelfrey scattered two hits and two walks while striking out five before the White Sox bullpen blew his 10 lead by allowing four runs in the sixth inning. The Sox are off today before going to Detroit on Friday to begin a nine-game trip against the Tigers, Rays, and Indians. Now back to Julia for your morning news. Thank you, Dev. Shout out to Mrs. Forrester's classroom for walking quietly in the hallway on Wednesday. Great job, first graders. <laughs> and now the last nominations for this school year from Mr. Wolbecker. Good morning, everybody. Happy last day of school and happy first day of June. I think it's fitting to end our morning announcements or at least our last morning announcements include some nominations for some great behavior. It's one of my favorite things we've done all year, highlighting students and staff for some awesome things throughout the year. So let's do it. Steve Shreyas and Kay from Mrs. Gallo's sixth grade classroom room 202 for the This Is It key. For their final music project, Steve Shreyas and Kay worked really hard to make sure that they all had an equal part in performing their rap, even though it was an easier skill for some than it was for others in their group. Mrs. Dulkey and Mrs. Gallo are very proud. Nice job, guys. We have Maya Mayer, Akshaya, and Sophia from Mrs. Vander Heiden's Classroom Room 201 for the key of commitment. They have been awesome helpers this year in class and are committed to working hard and being good role models for their peers. We have Abubakar and Marcel from Ms. Schlosser's classroom for the commitment key. Abubakar and Marcel set goals for themselves and worked hard to accomplish them. They take great pride in doing their best and finishing tasks to completion. Way to go, Abubakar and Marcel. We have Azumi from Mrs. Gallo's sixth grade classroom, room 202, for the integrity key. She has been a responsible and very helpful student all year long. Even with all of the excitement of the last days of school, Mrs. Gallo can still count on Azumi for good behavior 
and getting her work done. Nice job, guys. Come on out to my office for a quick prize. Staff, we have some great nominations as well, like Mrs. T for the commitment key. She was nominated by Mrs. Cardenas. She is extremely committed to our team and students. She helped the team analyze map data, find areas to celebrate, and they were also able to identify some areas to target next year. Nice job, Mrs. Teed. And of course, Ms. Bosanitz for the This Is It key. She was also nominated by Mrs. Cardenas. Ms. Bosanitz and Mrs. Cardenas have met several times to plan and prep for next year before school. She is devoted to the students and maximizes her time with each class. She takes advantage of every plan time to help out the team. Ms. Bosanis has created several PowerPoints to assist with teaching the new benchmark literacy curriculum next year. Nice job, everybody. It has been a pure joy and honor to be with you all this school year. We have an assembly this morning. We'll, we'll be able to recognize a lot of students for their involvement throughout the year. Have a wonderful, wonderful last day of school. And of course, a safe but adventurous and reading filled summer. I will miss you guys and I'll see most of you next fall. For those of you that I don't, have a great time in your next adventure and keep on rocking. Thank you, Mr. Wolbecker. Thank you for tuning in for the last this school year to the WNK studio for your morning news. Have a fantastic <coughs> last day of school. Everyone have a great summer. Bye!